I've been given the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live to review. Um, little earbuds that have noise cancelling. Uh, let's pop open the box and see how they look. <laughs> These look awful. <laughs> I've actually been the proud owner of the Galaxy Buds Plus for the last year or so now and Look, if you want really good earbuds that sound good and fit well and are really comfortable, then these are a great choice. And they're fairly cheap now. Now these are kidney bean looking things. Uh, these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live and they basically do everything the Plus does except have noise cancelling as well. Lucky for me, I'm actually about to hop on a plane. So um, I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to test the noise cancelling in these and see if the uh, weird looking Galaxy Buds Live are a better choice than the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Let me hit you with some facts about these two and how they differ while I pack. So both pairs of earbuds are pretty much identical. They charge by USB-C. They're actually the exact same weight, even though they're slightly different shapes. And you control both by using this app, um, the Samsung wearables app. So because they're so similar, I really just need to know which is the most comfortable and which one sounds the best. And I guess if one has a better battery life. But yeah, I'm gonna hop on a plane and see how they sound. Why did I bring so much stuff? Hello. So it's actually been a couple of weeks since my flight now, and that's because um, after the flight, I kind of decided I didn't like these at all. I was just not a fan, so I wanted to spend a little bit more time with these to make sure I wasn't judging them unfairly. On the plane, all of that white noise you get on an aircraft clearly disappeared when I turned on noise cancelling, but when I got back and used them in other situations, I discovered higher end stuff like voices just didn't get reduced much at all with the noise cancelling. It's because of their weird shape and lack of silicon edging that they just don't make a seal in your ear and naturally block out those sounds. The Plus with its silicon seal actually does a better job of cancelling out most noises. Also, because of their weird shape and all plastic body, I honestly just couldn't take having these in my ear for an extended period of time. It felt itchy and uncomfortable. I tried them on the plane, I wore them while I was walking the dog, I wore them running, I wore them around the house. No matter what I did, they just felt super uncomfortable. Look, maybe that's just my personal ear shape. These earbuds just might not be for me, but earbuds shouldn't really make you grimace when you think about putting them in your ears. Also, while I'm on the shape, all of the controls are actually done by tapping or, tapping or double tapping the side of these things, but you're actually limited to a certain space on here, not the whole thing. With the Plus, you actually know exactly where to press because it has a flat edge. These ones, it's somewhere around here. There's no way of knowing, you just have to press them until you hit the right spot. They became really annoying when I had to play and pause music. That was never a problem with the Plus. I have to admit, both sets of earbuds have stellar battery lives and I've never actually found them to be completely devoid of charge. And that's pretty impressive considering I forget to charge these all the time. Samsung claim the Galaxy Buds give you up to 22 hours of playtime from one fully charged case, while the Live gives you up to 28. 28 hour playtime, however, is only achievable if you turn the noise cancelling on these off. So yes, these technically do have better battery life, only if you turn off all the features that make these worth buying over these ones. Can you tell I don't like these? <laughs> and finally, the sound quality. I must admit, the Galaxy Bud Lives do sound slightly better overall if you compare them side by side. There does seem to be a bit more bass present and an overall fuller sound stage. But is it a big enough difference to recommend these Samsung Galaxy Buds Live over the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus? No. <laughs> overall, I just cannot recommend the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live or the Plus are on the market. They're more comfortable, easier to control, sound almost as good, and are so much cheaper right now. You do not need to buy these things when there are better options on the market, Samsung made or not. Your ears and wallet deserve better. So with that said, uh, would you like a pair of these? Uh, I've actually got two pairs to give away. What, I don't want them. <laughs> Where are they? Are they over here? They're down here. Here they are, two fresh boxes. 
of earbuds I hate. If you haven't noticed, my ears are actually quite tiny compared to the rest of my head, so maybe I just have small, silly looking ears. If your ears are more normal sized, maybe these will feel great in your head. Or, you know, you might just like this crazy looking design. So if you don't trust me and you want a pair of these anyway, well, uh, comment below, tell me what do you look for when purchasing earbuds? Is it comfort? Is it sound quality? Maybe it's interesting looking designs. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, we'll pick two at random and then you two could be the proud owner of a pair of Samsung Galaxy uh, Buds Live. For full terms and conditions, check the link in the description. Anyway, that's all from me at Tech Finder today. Please do hit subscribe if you're in the mood for more tech news, reviews, and how to's. Also, please do hit like if this video was entertaining or informative to you. It really does help us out. And until next time, I'm going to see what kind of stew I can make out of uh, two beans made of electronics. Not really, I'm probably just gonna throw these away. No, I'm not, I'll donate them, how's that? Um, I'd give these away too, but they've been in my ears too long. Uh, I'll give them to someone I don't like. <laughs> See you next time.